What's up guys? I'm checking out the Monster Hunter demo that was put up on the Japanese eShop today. Um, I don't really know Japanese, so it's a little difficult to play it, obviously, but I thought we'd give it a shot. Now, I am going to record this footage at 60 frames per second because, as far as we know, it's supposed to get 60 frames uh, for the most part, as they said. Uh, it's supposed to be 1080p, 60 frames. Now, this is the opening cutscene. I am going to skip past that for now and just go right to uh, Monster Hunter Double Cross Nintendo Switch version. None of it is in English, <laughs> despite what you see there. So I'm kind of left with... Uh, While well, me attempting to figure this all out. So I'm going to be skipping through a lot of these menus hoping that I get to gameplay because the big thing a lot of us are interested in right now is, well, how does it play, right? How does it look? How does it play? So let's just jump through some of this just so we can, um, at least they have pictures here. That's good. I'm going to go with that. Now, my, my experience with Monster Hunter is not a lot, okay? I played Monster Hunter, this is really funny, on um, the PS2 and I played Monster Hunter on the uh, PSP, Okay, I didn't really get into it on the Wii, the Wii U, uh, none of that. So, um, oh, here we go, good, I got past most of the menus. So, we're gonna go right into gameplay, I guess. And we can kind of get an idea of how it looks. All right, here we are. So, uh, right away, the, the frame rate looks pretty good. Um, I don't know if this is 60 frames right now, because it looks like it has some stuttering. This is the demo, so it's gonna be an early build, kind of. I will say it obviously, well, okay, there we go, loading. Um, I will say it obviously looks... Uh, uh, better than the 3DS version from what I've seen. I have played some of the 3DS version, not a ton, but obviously, I mean, come on, the, the 3DS version is running on a very low resolution. So here we go. Um, the ground, the ground textures probably look a little better too overall, but again, this is kind of a, uh, kind of a port from the 3DS version to, uh, the Switch. In handheld mode, it looks pretty good too. I noticed, uh, uh, the frame rate wasn't as good in handheld mode, which is weird, right? Because it's supposed to be the other way around. So let me just hit this guy. Hit him some more. Yeah. There we go. Is he... Okay. So overall, I mean, it looks... Oh, okay. It looks... I mean, the frame rate doesn't seem to drop or anything. That was the big thing that I remember them talking about at the, um, at the conference thing they did. They were like, oh, it runs way better on the Switch, obviously. And that, that makes sense. The, the Switch is significantly stronger than the 3DS, so it should support that 1080p resolution. But this is definitely not something that's pushing the switch, right? It's not like, it's not like, uh, like killing the switch or anything to do this. So that could be good for battery life though. If you consider that like in handheld mode, it may get better battery life because it's not pushing heavily. I mean, overall it looks good so far. I mean, we have good scenery, got the, have the little God rays coming down. I'm sure there's going to be a ton of comparisons between this already, probably even the demo version, honestly, between this and, uh, just the 3DS version. Now, it's it's not as hard to play this kind of a game, obviously, uh, because if it was like an RPG, it'd be significantly harder to play this. Um, but like when you get readouts of stuff there, it's, it's a little harder for me to play it. But I can kind of run around and take a look at everything. Um, it looks like everything kind of has a nice, uh, nice little line of anti-aliasing all the way around. That might also be just a side effect from the resolution bump. But we do have nice lighting effects coming in. So they have added some stuff. Um, let's just keep going here and see what, uh, okay, there we go, go into a different area. Let's just keep going and take a look at some of the other areas here. Now I know the demo is not gonna give you everything. Um, oh, nice. What was the, I'm curious what the draw distance was on the 3DS version also. This is the draw distance here doesn't look too bad. Okay, I'm gonna beat this guy up. Um, the draw distance doesn't look too bad here. I'm just, I'm curious what it was. I think some of you guys probably have a lot of experience with the 3DS version. I know there's some massive Monster Hunter fans out there um, that play it on the 3DS. And I'm, I'm curious, you guys can let me know what the, I guess, how it looks compared to your 3DS version. I'm sure it looks better. I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to say, well, this looks a, a lot better, actually. Because when we saw the original side-by-side -side in the um, in the presentation, yet yeah, it was a significant jump. And you can, if you want to get this, you can get this on the eShop now. What you have to do is you have to make a Japanese account. And then when you go to the, this threw me off a little bit. When you go to the page for Monster Hunter Double Cross, which is right away. Like when you go on there, you can see it right on the front page. You barely have to navigate to get to it. And you're going to see it and you're going to see a price above it in, a, in yen. If you go to the button right below that and you hit that, it'll start the download. I think the download is a little under two gigabytes. I think it's like 1.8 gigabytes. Um, so it doesn't take terribly long or anything. Uh, let's go over here. Let's see. Go into some some of the the woods over here. 
But I, I know a lot of people were just really curious how it was going to play, how it looked. And uh, so far, it looks, it looks pretty good, I think. I'm sure they can do better if whenever they do the next Monster Hunter, which, trust me, another Monster Hunter is probably going to be coming to the Switch at some point. And I'm sure they will look into doing um, maybe more with the Switch hardware rather than just take the 3DS version of it and kind of and port it over with some extra little features. So I, I see that definitely happening. This, um, this, so, all right, in here it doesn't look bad. Uh, again, I think the Switch can do more than what we're seeing here. But if, if you're a fan of Monster Hunter, maybe you wanted a better looking display, or maybe you just wanted to play it on TV, on a screen, the newer version, this isn't bad. Again, though, no plans to localize it right now, which is interesting. I'm not really sure why that's the case. You figure they have a, a good fan base out here that, that does like Monster Hunter, right? I mean, it's not like people don't buy it. I mean, it's sold really well on the handhelds from what I've seen. So it's, it's sold the best on the PSP still, though, which is odd. But, I mean, there are a lot of PSPs out there. And when it came out, it was, it was, ex it was even more popular in Japan than it is now, so... I want to look at more of the areas, too, if we can. Oh, I put my sword away. That's not good. And, of course, these are just AI people. They, they pretty much put you with right away. So, in the beginning, from what I can tell you, you pick your layout, you pick your character, and then they just give you your CPU characters right away. I'm sure there's people who can, who are probably going to play this, who who can speak Japanese, and will probably get more out of this. But um, from what I can tell, that's that's what happens. All right. This guy's living pretty well. He has a little health bar there, so he's we're getting him there, I think. There we go. Something happened. <laughs> oh, oh, he healed. Okay, I think he healed me. Man, this guy is living through quite a bit. How much longer it takes to, to kill him, but I wanted to move on to some other areas so we can take a look at some of the other scenery and visuals. But all right, that's fine. Oop, look out. That's really what I wanted to do. So I don't know if I can just run away. Can I just run away from the fight? Maybe. I'll go down here to, uh, we'll go down to three. And we'll go down here. Okay, ZL changes the, oh, I see, at the top, top right. Still kind of in the caves. Let's keep running through here. Let's go to two. That'll, uh, where does two go? Okay, let's we'll go up through here. I mean, so far, everything looks uh, how you'd expect, I guess, if a, if a 3DS game was taken to a higher resolution and a smoother frame rate. Um, but again, you guys will have to let me know in the comments how this looks compared to, I guess, the 3DS version that you're used to playing. Yeah, it does look like, uh, I guess, 3DS, how it looked on the 3DS. Just, again, upscaled, uh, smoothed out. Definitely a layer of anti-aliasing is on everything. Like, everything looks very smooth. You know how when you're playing on 3DS because the resolution is so low? Um, you have, like, that stair, that staircase kind of effect. That's just from aliasing. And they definitely smoothed out very well here. This is definitely going to be the best-looking Monster Hunter game that you can get on Nintendo platforms, whether it's 3DS or the Switch. But, again, Monster Hunter World is coming, and that's going to probably suck up quite a bit of the market share for Monster Hunter. Mostly because it's on so many systems, on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Um, so it's going to have quite an audience. But, you know, this is this is kind of cool. If you want to play it yourself, though, like I said, go on the Japanese eShop. It's very easy to do. It takes no time to make a new account and just play this game. You can try it out. It's, it's, it's worth trying out just to see how it controls for you. And then you can kind of decide if this is something that you would be look forward to getting down the road whenever they decide to localize it. Still no word. If they do localize it, though, the 3DS and the Switch version would definitely release on the same day because it has that, that kind of connectivity, right, where you can do stuff between the two. So I would expect that. Maybe we'll get lucky and it comes out next year. But uh, that's, uh, that's it for now, guys. Hope you had enjoyed this look at the Monster Hunter Double Cross on the Nintendo Switch. It's just the demo, but it gives us an idea of how it's going to look going forward. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.